Hello and welcome back to Good Game Nation, where we bring you all things TCG. My name is Preston, and today is Newsday. You clicked on the thumbnail, you know what we're looking at today. We're going to jump right into it because there's a lot of cards to uh, talk about. They're starting to show set six stuff, so I want to jump through some of the exciting stuff that I saw on the official websites. We talked about this a few weeks ago, I think. It is the Uta uh, premium, premium Pack, and we're getting actual official art before we just had thumbnails of them. And I believe this is one of each of her currently printed cards. And they're just getting alt arts. The art is incredible, even if most of these don't really see play. I feel like it is fairly underplayed within all of these cards. But the art's really nice. We got a nice... Uh, leader we got the secret rare in here we got a lot of the promos the starter deck cards so we're really going uta heavy this year and you'll you'll see that as we keep clicking through through the next uh the next stories but yeah the art's great i'm excited oh, so cool um really great art for all of these and uh looking forward to when these come out west and to the rest of the world Moving on, we got just a small update on the ultimate deck, the three captains. We got a November 3rd release date as well as some art. And that's about it. We already knew it was going to be about $30. And uh, we already know what's going to be in it. It came out in Japan a little while ago. And the card list will show up soon. But also, if you jump onto the Japanese website, it's already there. Um, so jump into Sim and start practicing if you want to play this deck. As we know that November 11th Pasadena Offline Regional, this should be legal. Uh, according to Core, it's going to be legal, so you'll be able to play this uh, offline soon. Moving on to the next bit. First year anniversary tournament is coming uh, December 8th to December 29th. And... This has a lot of the same feelings as a pre-release tournament. I saw a lot of people talking about this in similar terms. Uh, there is a sealed format option, so this could happen with set five stuff, but it could also happen kind of like the multicolor Luffy, the draft uh, tournament Luffy. Um, as an entry, you're gonna get the promo 37 Monkey D Luffy. This is the one they were giving out at cons this year with a small addition of the first year anniversary stamp. We're also gonna get a tournament pack with two cards per pack. And this is what's giving everyone pre-release uh, vibes, is this is how pre-releases work. You get, uh, most of the time it's like the commons uh, as a special rare. And this one's most likely gonna have the first year anniversary stamp, just like the Luffy we just saw. But we're also going to have a Dawn pack. There's going to be one card per pack, as we usually do with Dawn packs. And there's going to be two. And these were previously released, I believe, in a Jump magazine or something like that. And they're coming here. So we got a Yamato and a Luffy. Lovely sample location also. Um, and the winner is going to get the promo Gear 5 Luffy. With... A winner stamp on top of the first year anniversary so check in with your store see if they're going to be able to to get these promos in and um, let them know that you want to participate in this type of tournament so that they can request the tournament stuff in advance so that you make sure that you get your promos as well as have fun with the with your lgs Moving on to something I believe we talked about again for Japan, but coming sooner than I expected to English is the Treasure Cruise promos. This is um, starter deck reprints with new art. This is uh, Rush Luffy, the Blocker Law from the starter deck, the Blocker Crocodile from the starter deck, and the Nine Drop from the starter deck for Kaido. And those are your entry participation packs, one card per pack as usual. And the winners are going to get a very similar treatment to all other winner cards as they put the, the color in the background, replacing the background with some color. 
adding a winter stamp. Um, it's hard to see, but there's a Treasure's Cruise uh, logo as well on all of these. And then you get the same four cards. Pretty cool. I'm excited to see these alts uh, here earlier than I expected. But Tournament Pack 5 only has four cards, so that's going to make it pretty easy to get your at least one of each if that's your thing, or multiple of each if that's your thing. Uh, moving on to something I'm just absolutely just so happy to see. This is what I was hoping was going to happen. These are the promo packs that we saw in the last few weeks. Um, and this is going to be the film, the drama uh, pre premium Bandai product that we talked about last week. And the, it's the Netflix actors. It's exactly what I wanted from this. This is so exciting um, to be able to get these guys all on cards. Absolutely a treat to get. And uh, let me know what you think. Are you, are you super excited about this? Because I am so excited to get uh, the live action guys on our actors on cards. Now, we're moving on to card reveals. We got some official card reveals on the junior friendly tournament um, as well as another showing of the Yamato. I think this might be the first official showing of Yamato that we saw last week from the leaks. But this is the first time we saw the blue purple Reiju and this is Vinsmoke Reiju blue purple leader for life 5k power. Vinsmoke family Germa 66. Your turn once per turn when one of your Dawn cards on the field is returned to your Dawn deck, draw one card. I'm going to try to keep my opinions to a minimum since there's a lot of cards to talk about today. But I think that's a pretty cool leader effect, especially with the minuses from previous sets. We'll have to see if uh, any of the other Germa characters minus to help enable this or if you're going to be playing a nice smooth um, mix of like Animal Kingdom Pirates or something like that. But yeah, very cool. Uh, we're getting the Germa stuff in purple. And I think a lot of the stuff that we'll see, I'll talk about as we go, is going to be nice additions to uh, the purple that we are playing in Japan right now. Next up is four yellow Wano stuff to go along with that Yamato. And I'll start here with Kawa Metsu. Awometsu, yellow character, 3 cost, 5k power. Fishman, Wano Country, is a, uh, 9 scabbards. When attacking, you, when attacking, you may discard 2 cards, return up to 1 of your 0 power characters to the top or bottom of its owner's deck. Trigger, if your opponent's life is at 3 or less, play this card. So, the 3 or less um, trigger goes along with the Yamato leader having their, her second effect uh, activate with um, three or less life and it seems like that's going to be the trend along the way. The idea of sending a zero power character away is interesting as well because we'll have to see how that is incorporated to the rest of this archetype. Are we minusing power or what because that's a very unique thing to get down to zero very few cards are printed with zero so you're gonna have to minus so we'll have to see how that goes the next card is okiku yellow character four cost 6k power wano country nine scabbards on ko if your opponent's life is three or less place the top card of your deck to the top of your life trigger if your opponent's life is at three or less play this card so again, the three or less life is going to be a trend here, and your leader is going to most likely be able to get them down pretty quickly. But basically, your entire end game, you're going to have this effect active, even if you're not pushing hard with leader and getting them down to three. Eventually, if you're planning on winning, uh, your opponent's going to be at three or less life. So this effect should be active. You're going to be gaining a life off the top of your deck. This isn't just great for Wano, but I feel like Anel might be able to take advantage of this. There's a lot of other yellow life gaining leaders that are going to probably really enjoy this card. The next one 
Dindro, yellow character, 5 cost, 6k power, Wano Country, 9 scabbards. Dawn times 2. If your opponent's life is at 3 or less, this character cannot be KO'd by effects. Trigger, if your opponent's life is at 3 or less, play this card. 5k, 6k, 5 cost, 6k power. Really cool effect, not being able to be KO'd. Um, with the two Dawn attached, he's going to be 8k, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's some cards when I first look at them, I just don't imagine them being played. Uh, this is one of them. I'm probably wrong about that because I'm often wrong, but it, that's what makes this part of the video so fun for me is saying, I think this card sucks, and then uh, the community as a whole just going, you're wrong. So I'm looking forward to seeing if next this card gets played or if I'm right. Either way, exciting times for yellow. I gushed about Wano getting yellow-green uh, support already, so not much I can say else about that. Let's move back to the Germa cards. We got two Germa cards here. Minsmoke Ichiji. Oh, that's going to be a rough one. Purple character, 4 cost, 4k power. Counter 1k. Vinsmoke family, Germa 66. Activate main. Dawn minus 1. You may trash this character. If your leader, leader has Germa 66 type, you may play up to 1 cost 7 Vinsmoke Ichiji from your hand or trash. That's pretty cool. Um, I think this is a, a great transition to what was leaked earlier this week uh, that we'll get to very shortly. Um, but either you can play this card, activate its effect, play him again, maybe do some uh, thinning, or you'll, you'll see in a bit. Um, We'll move on to the next card, Vinsmoke Reiju. Purple character, 2 cost, 2k power. Counter, 1k. Vinsmoke family, German 66. Activate main, Dom minus 1. You may trash this character. If your leader has the German 66 type, you may play up to 1 4 cost Vinsmoke Reiju from your hand or trash. Again, it's a uh, bring a card from the trash, which is new. Uh, I didn't think about that with uh, Ichiji -E is bringing cards back from the trash, which is cool. It'll be interesting to see if there's going to be any uh, search this card from your deck and place it directly in the trash. That would be really cool. Or being able to play this in like a blue purple that is using the, um, the blue Nami cards that we already got. But yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff that we can do with the purple color already so being able to have maybe the discard from uh, the east blue stuff or maybe uh, integrated stuff from the vinsmoke family germa 66 stuff we'll have to see what happens exciting effects to to lead off their their family and that brings us to a different thing entirely Uta, red purple leader, 4 life, 5k power, film. When attacking, you may trash one film type card from your hand, give up to one of your opponent's characters minus 2k until the end of turn. Then add up to one dawn from your dawn deck as rested. This is a red purple leader that is quite interesting to go along with the other red purple leaders probably didn't need another red purple leader anytime soon but this is really interesting to get early on uh, into this new red purple meta i don't know how i feel about it i think it's better than the pure green one that we just got out of the starter deck and uh, like i was saying at the beginning of this episode this is a uta year so it's all about uta we'll probably see very uh, a lot more of these in the future. Um, jumping back into Germa 66, these were uh, leaked earlier in the week before the live stream, and uh, these are the cards that I was alluding to with the last two siblings. Vinsmoke Reiju, purple character, 4 cost, 5k power. Vinsmoke family, Germa 66. On play, if you have less Dawn on your field than your opponent, and if you have five or less cards in your hand, draw two cards. Counter 1k. So this is what I was talking about. The uh, previous cards are uh, leveling up or going into raid suit mode. 
um, with these cards. So the next few cards are the rest of the siblings, and um, they each have their own type of effect. I'm excited to see how they're going to be utilized, and really excited to see if there's anything that are, is going to really enable this deck to speed up um, by maybe sending these cards to the trash. Okay, the next one is Ichiji. Let me find his effect here. Okay, Vinsmoke Ichiji. Purple character, 7 cost, 7k power, Vinsmoke family, German 66. On play, if you have less Dawn on your field than your opponent, give up to one of your opponent's characters, minus 2k power for this turn, and this character gains Rush. Pretty cool uh, if you're able to combo this into uh, maybe a turn two uh, of the first card we saw, the non-raid suit version, minus one Dawn, play this on turn two, and then gain Rush because you should have less um, Dawn as your opponent since you just minused, or playing this card from your other uh, Ichiji. Um, or you could just go first and you have less cards on your side of the field. Anyways, there's some interesting things you'll have to play through while you're testing to figure out how to best optimize uh, the Germa stuff. But I think it's pretty cool. I think this could be super fast and uh, really scary as we go forward. The next one is Vinsmoke Niji. Purple character, 5 cost, 6k power, Vinsmoke family, Germa 66. On play, if you have less Dawn on your field than your opponent, Choose up to one of the following. KO up to one of your opponent's characters with, uh, with a cost of two or less, or return up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost four or less to the owner's hand, 1k counter. Um, we didn't see the, the non-rate suit version of Niji, but we can assume it's the exact same thing. Minus one Dawn, play a five uh, or less Niji from your hand or trash and then get to use one of its effect because you most likely have less Dawn. And then the, the effect is pretty good. I think we've been seeing this a little bit more often where you get a choice of KOing or returning to hand, which is a nice way to power creep through uh, new sets is just give them more options. Um, it's uh, interesting. We're gonna have to see how this is played. I can imagine some of these cards getting integrated into the Purple Luffy. The only problem there is Purple Luffy is just straight ramp, so it's getting to, to Mordon too fast, I think, so it might not vibe too well. But we'll have to see what happens. And the last card we have here is Yonju. Vinsmoke Yonju, purple character, 4 cost, 5k power, Vinsmoke family, German 66. If you have less Dawn on your field than your opponent, this character has 1000 power. Uh, so it becomes a 6k if you have less Dawn. It's a blocker, so that is probably pretty hard to get that plus 1,000 on your opponent's turn unless it's a very dramatic uh, spin where you're minusing constantly. Maybe in-game it gets even better. Um, but on their turn, they're going to gain 2 Dawn, so I guess it actually is easier than I originally thought. You should be able to always have this active, because when they go onto their turn, they gain two, they should be above you anyways. Like almost no occasions that they should be lower than you at that point. So you should ha always have a 6k blocker at four cost with this character. Pretty interesting. I, again, really interested to in seeing how this integrates into other purple decks, uh, especially with purple being quite oppressive in uh, the set five meta. We'll have to see how these cards get get integrated or just if this new purple blue Reju is going to take over. Um, I think that's it's a really interesting uh, new archetype. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, I wanted to make this quick, but there's like 11 cards to talk about. So that's what it ended up being. Um, thank you all for being here. If you're still here, make sure you do all of the YouTube things like comment, subscribe. And uh, thank you for coming by and watching the news with me today. Peace.